five, a scary situation at an ice cream shop in the Gulch. Police say a woman was trying to use the bathroom when a man tried to force his way inside with her. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marius Payton. And I'm Lauren Lowry. Steve Mailing talked with people in the area who are shocked it happened where it did. Many people we talked with today in the Gulch said they don't usually worry about their safety. So if they're shocked, whenever they say shit like that, it means it was a sudden man. Stuff like this never happens around here. About their safety. I walk my dog all the time by myself, even at night. Um, I've never felt threatened in any way. I feel safe when I'm walking around. Um, I need These women would never talk like that if there were sons around here. Who, who do you think they're going to vote for, though? Who, who do you think they'll vote for? I mean, it, well, it doesn't matter because these are these are the, of course these women are voting for Biden, but um, that doesn't really matter because it's like did this group right here, white women in a liberal city. This is Nashville. This is an urban liberal city. This is downtown. They got a. This is a city. A white woman in the city. Like, come on, man. Put today in the, the mayor of this city's probably some democrat that won 80 percent of the vote or even more the city didn't even have a republican primary the democratic right, right. primary was the fucking election like that's it, right it's, it's like the saying, republican is like the more conservative anything. democrat in the primary exactly that's what it is many people we talked with today in the gulch said they don't usually worry about their safety I walk my dog all the time by myself. But even here's that- another thing, too. Even liberal whites, as nutty and as full, like trans and goddamn criminal justice reform, all that weird shit they're for, in their enclaves where this mostly them, like you can eat off the fucking ground. Yeah, of course. Fucking, a woman can walk around in a fucking bikini at fucking one in the morning and nothing yeah. happened to her. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, it's a bunch of bullshit. Like, that, that, like, people vote with their feet. That's how you know this is all like a bunch of, this is like a fucking, like a play, like a Shakespeare play or something. Like, everyone knows their part, but like, we know these people don't feel the way, don't truly believe what they do or else they wouldn't live in those areas and segregate themselves away, right? Like if they really just thought of some economic factors and bullshit, we wouldn't see these uh, these living patterns that people have. Many people we talked with today in the Gulch said they don't usually worry about their safety. I walk my dog all the time by myself, even at night. Um, I've never felt threatened in any way. I feel safe when I'm walking around. Um, I mean, I always keep my alert at all times. Both Bailey Cochran and Olivia Guyhan were shocked when we told them what Metro Police say happened Thursday afternoon. According to an affidavit, a woman was going to use the bathroom at Nashville Sunday Club. Damn, look at that, man. <laughs> and Nashville has a lot of sons. I was in um Nashville, um, was it last year or the year before? Whatever, 20, you know, when did takeoff die? Takeoff got killed. No, I was in Denver then. Take when I was in no, that was two, three years ago. I think that maybe that was 2022. Yeah, and and listen, man, it's very clean city, but they got sons, man. And they got a lot of fucking sons, man. Around one when a man was also trying to use the bathroom. After opening the door for the man, police say he tried to force the woman into the bathroom with him. She fought back, locking herself inside the bathroom until help could arrive. Definitely makes you think. Um, it definitely makes you want to watch your surroundings a little closer. Police say the victim's boyfriend quickly came to her aid. He was able to get some pictures of the guy before he was hit in the head with his backpack. Oh, let's see the pictures. Uh-oh. All right, place your bets. Took off. Uh, I'm a big, like, I always am looking down right. at my phone, so maybe I will look down less and kind of pay attention more to, like, where I'm going, who's around. The Sunday Club says they have two personal bathrooms with keys the staff hands to customers. They say the suspect was not a customer. And on surveillance... The suspect wasn't a customer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. ...is seen coming in from the street and heading right to the bathroom area. Both Cochran and Guyam says situations like this make them rethink their surroundings. 
Yo, let me see if I can. They're not dropping the picture. This is suspicious. Why aren't they dropping it? What What the fuck are they waiting for? Yeah, that's crazy. Nashville, bathroom. Let me see if I can find it on, um, on Twitter, man. They fucking... Damn, nah, nothing. Uh oh, uh Yeah, it's this it was really nothing about it, man. Um yeah, there's nothing about it, man. What's the name of this place? Let me see if I can find the name of this place in the store. Man. What's the name of it? And I'm Lauren Lowry. Is he mailing talk with people? Ice cream shop. People in the area who are shocked it happened where it did. Many people we talked with today in the Gulch said they don't usually worry about their safety. I walk my dog all the time by myself. According to an app. Sunday, Sunday Club. Sunday Club. Sunday Club. Oh. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me see if we. Oh, let me see. Nah, that's not it. Damn. I... Damn. Oh, okay. We got it, man. I think I think this is it, man. I think this is it. Oh no, this was last year at the same at the Sunday Club. It was a it was a um a Patel was harassing women at the Sunday Club last year. Oh, okay. Patel. Um, that does sound like a Patel thing. Forcing your fucking way into a bathroom. Harassing white women, yeah, that's too. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, like that description. When when I hear a description like that, I go, okay, it's either black or not black. Like all the other groups, you can congregate as one other category. You mean not white? You mean not white? No, no, no. Like it's black or not black. I got the I got the story uh, on the the story on it, man. Here we go. Let me uh. Uh, everybody, drum roll. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? I got the story on. Uh, I got you it. said Patel, and I'm I'm gonna go Patel. That was last year, though. That was last year. The you one take, I wore Patel. Patel for for uh, I'm a double uh, down. All right, maybe it's a surprise. Maybe it's a glider then. What the? Oh, um. All right. Um. Here we go. All right. Well, continuing Operation Crime and Justice, Metro Police arresting a man accused of trying to force a woman into a bathroom inside a popular business out in the Gulch. The victim. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, all right. Nice, nice investigative work here. <laughs> oh, right. man. So that's a, that's a, uh, an umbrito, yeah. Yeah, it definitely look like an umbrito. Okay. <laughs> That's a goddamn yeah. rule. Yeah, man. I mean, look in their countries, like they'll just fucking grab a woman's pussy or like just run up on it, like just they'll just do that. That's that machismo. Yeah. There was nobody who looked like him in any of those um that That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit, man. Man. <laughs> Gliders, man. I mean, y'all just, and y'all are like, you don't know how many of them are in the country. You don't know where they're from. You don't know anything oh, about their millions. background. Like millions and millions of these people are going to be voting where this supposed red wave is supposed to appear. Like, that just, man, just people don't get, like, Brandon Tatum and Black and Serve Perspective, they don't get it. Yeah. This understand. fucking red wave thing, like they just, man, people do not understand what's gonna happen. 
They're still wow. talking about that red wave shit. Oh. Well, they're saying Trump, you know, he he's getting hundred thousand people at events and stuff like that. And um uh Stephen A. Smith every couple of days he says something not woke, and Bill Maher might say something not woke every other show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get all excited. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm like if you if you give them if you throw them a bone, like the, they they will like run with it. They'll take that shit to Mars, all the way to Mars, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, that's crazy, man. The tide's turning. Um, Stephen A. Smith says something not completely one thousand percent woke, or you know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, look, we 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 we. It's over. The election's over. Um, fucking goddamn. Rosie O'Donnell said something that wasn't a thousand percent woke. It was only nine hundred percent woke. <laughs> this is why, like, I can't identify with the conservative movement because I just know it's fundamentally like unprepared. It just doesn't. It just like I understand the ideas. I get that. I agree with a lot of that. But like the game plan is not there. Mm-mm. They just don't know how to play the game, man. I have seen a lot of polls that uh, I seem to pause, agree with Trump. Pause, pause, pause. I've seen a lot of uh, online uh, surveys, bro. Damn, that favorite Trump, but I don't know. Man, my man said he seen a lot of polls. God damn, yeah, oh, that I'm... dope man. <laughs> that dope man. Same <laughs> black time. Same black channel, man. Oh, out of here. Peace out, y'all.